Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Jellyfin Media Server on your Raspberry Pi and how to enable OMX Hardware Acceleration. The Jellyfin Media Server is basically identical to the Plex Media Server with the only difference being that it's open source. That alone solves one of Plex's biggest problems from a consumer's point of view, which is the fact that you need to pay for it in order to be able to use it as a proper service. Just like Plex, Jellyfin allows you to collect, manage and stream your media which you can then access from your browser or pretty much any other device since it's available on Android, iOS, Android TV including Chromecast, Mac OS, Windows and Linux. First of all, I'm going to show you how well everything works and just how well it performs. I'm currently running the RPI OS on my Pi 4 and I'm accessing the server with my browser. As you can see it has all the same functions as Plex and feels a lot like it too. The best part is that it has hardware acceleration. So under playback you can see that OpenMax OMX hardware acceleration is enabled on my Pi 4. So if I go ahead and play a 720p video stream it should be incredibly smooth. Now if I play a 1080p video, it should be relatively okay. Yeah, it's honestly not that bad, but it doesn't compare to 720p, apart from the resolution of course. Even if I skip out of this buffer, it needs a moment to load, but it continues. Now for the transcoding part of things, I wanted to point out that the read and write speeds won't be able to keep up if you try to transcode anything on your micro SD card. A fast external storage device like an SSD would be a lot more optimal. And now I'm going to show you how you can install it. First of all, head to jellyfin.org, then go to download now and select the OS you want to install it on. I want to install it on the RPI OS, so I'm going to select Debian Stable. Then all you've got to do is copy all of these commands, and paste them into the terminal. This can take quite a bit. After that, Jellyfin should be installed on your Pi. To enable hardware decoding, you're first going to have to add Jellyfin user to the group, so go ahead and type sudo usermod a capital G video jellyfin. Then restart the system service by typing sudo systemctl restart jellyfin. For 4k footage you're also going to have to increase the GPU memory by editing the config.txt file. So go ahead and type sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. Then scroll all the way down and add gpu underscore mem320 if you aren't using a Pi with 4 gigs of RAM. Mine has 4GB of RAM, so I'm going to increase the GPU memory to 512. Once you've done that, press Ctrl X and Y on your keyboard to save and exit the file. Then you'll need to reboot the system to apply the changes by typing sudo reboot. Once your system has rebooted, you'll need to check your Pi's IP address by either hovering over the Wi-Fi icon, or by opening up the terminal and typing IP ADDR. Additionally, I recommend making your Pi's IP address persistent. There are two ways of doing that. You can either make your Pi have a static IP address, which isn't my preferred way of doing it because it's completely tied to your Pi's operating system and because it can cause IP address conflicts. Nevertheless, I'll still link a detailed guide on how exactly to do this below. The other method is using a sticky DHCP address on your router, which basically gives your Pi the same address over and over again. This method varies from router to router, so I won't be able to show you how to do it. Anyway, once you've got your Pi's IP address, you can open up your browser, type it in and add a semicolon and the port, which is 8096. Now you can go through the basic setup process and enter your username and password. 
You'll also have the option to add your media libraries, set your language and country and configure remote access. Make sure to leave the first option ticked and if you want to enable automatic port forwarding, you can tick the second one as well. Now just log in. And head to admin dashboard. Playback and select open Max OMX and tick MPEG 2 and 4. Then, if you want, you can set the transcoding thread to max or whatever you want. Scroll down and click on save. Now your Jellyfin media server is up and running and you can start adding your media. You can add your media by going back to admin dashboard, libraries and clicking on the big plus. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. This video was more or less just a basic Jellyfin server setup on the Pi. So if you have any more questions, you can comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or you could just do a quick Google search. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.